Hello and welcome to part 2 of the video of the 200 layers on Toku. We started today with taking the knife out of the oven, we annealed it overnight, starting to shape the profile and also grinding the bevels. We put it into our even heat oven at 820 degrees Celsius and leave it there for about 5 to 10 minutes, then quench it in oil, straighten it and put it into the oven for two times one hour at 180 degrees Celsius. After heat treating, we thinned down the profile of the blade, did the bevels in and also we convex grind the blade. up to 180 grit and then started hand sanding from 180 up to 1000. Hand sanding is not my favorite part of knife making but it's a very important step to make sure the knife is in a very very even finish. And the maskers will be etched and after that finished with the 2000 grit sandpaper to make sure that the lines are perfectly visible, that there's a difference between the highs and the lows of the Damascus itself. One of the steel is more attacked by the acid than the other, so there's a deeper edge on this one, that's the darkened steel, and the high nickel steel will be polished afterwards, so we have a very nice contrast. <laughs> I'm going to start with the knife itself. First prepare the tang. The tang is the thing that goes into the handle. Um, I started shaping it down, putting in them shoulders with a fire guard 
and then cut a slot into the tang and weld a piece of M4 threading on it to make sure that we have our uh, our threading there for the nuts that will be into the knife handle. some carbon fiber fiber to the new silver to give a little bit more contrast belt on the belt grinder. After that 
I flattened all the flat spots on the D-shaped handle with our disc grinder then started polishing it with a 180 grit and going up step by step now up to 2000 grit and then gonna polish it for watching part two of this beautiful Santoku knife. It was a pleasure to make and I love these kind of projects. Find Damascus, beautiful bog oak and the inlays of carbon and new silver are just a beautiful combination. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you very soon on the next video.